Congratulations on making it to this point. This has been one of the tightest races in the history of this competition. But this week, everything changes. There will be no more veteran artists returning, making you the strongest eight artists ever to fight for the title. Now, you must battle each other. And only one of you will win $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Five of you have been to a finale before. This whole group sitting here is finale material. One mistake, you're out. This is the time to really turn it up. This is it. Be the best. Today, there will be no flash challenge. We are moving directly into the next elimination tattoo. Wow. You're being judged on texture. Texture is a way of making a piece of art look like you could run your finger over it and feel how it feels in real life. For this elimination tattoo, you must completely transform your canvas's back, giving them a full set of wings. Oh, my God. And you must collaborate with another artist. No. Two of you must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. One artist must tattoo a good wing on half of your canvas's back, and the other artist must tattoo an evil wing on the other half. F me. You must work together to give your canvas a cohesive tattoo, but you'll be judged individually. Wow. These canvases have no clue what the hell they're in for. I hope they brought some rawhide shoes because this is gonna be painful. Let's meet your canvases. Clean, you won the best tattoo of the day in the last elimination tattoo. You now have the power to assign the canvases. That means you will also determine which artists are working together. So choose wisely. I feel like a mad dog on a leash, and I'm about to bite anybody that gets in my way. You want to get some wings on your back? Yeah, I was thinking the good one, I would want made of feathers, not fluffy, angelic. And the evil being more dragon-like, claws at the top. Claws. Whoever you're paired with will make or break this tattoo. I don't want to get teamed up with Jesse because the last time we got teamed up, we lost and lost big. What are you thinking? Really open to see what the artist has in mind. I was thinking the good wing being whimsical, fairy like, and then the evil side being burned and crow like with some bones coming out of it. Hmm. Whenever Clean has skull picks, it's a complete crapshoot. Nobody knows what he's going to do, he doesn't understand strategy. Canvases one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Christian and Maddie. I'm stoked to be paired with Christian. We have an alliance. Clean is a moron. Jesse. Sausage. Ooh, looks like Clean actually has a brain after all. These two f***ed up so bad last time, obviously, they're going to screw up again. Clean rock one. James. Me and Clean are the fastest tattooers in this competition. If this person wanted a full back piece, there you go. You're going to have a back piece. Jimmy, Anthony. It's up to you to decide which artist tattoos good and which artist tattoos evil. But once the tattoo starts, you cannot switch. And this week, there will be no human canvas jury. All the decisions are completely up to the judges. You will have six hours to give your canvas a full set of wings. Good luck. Pleasure to meet you. Right up here. So we're going to do one kind of baddie, medieval dragon-ish, and the other one kind of Native American. Today, these tattooers have to do a back piece, basically, on their canvases. A raven's wing would be the bad side, and then the good side, you're thinking more fairy butterfly. This is tough because they have to match sides. One side has to be evil, one side has to be good. Do you have a specific side that you're leaning towards? The angelic side. Give me about that size. But the actual sizes and composition should flow together. How's that outline look? Big enough. Our dude, he's a big guy. I picked that for myself because I'm a man, and I'm here to go big or go home. You're probably going to get a pretty good-sized tattoo. Impressive. I hope this dude can handle two dudes at once, man, because you're getting a 12-hour tattoo in six hours. The pain is excruciating. You better make sure you eat than just try and get in a food coma. It's going to be brutal, man. We could do a normal raven wing and fairy wing or whatever. In my opinion, a little boring. 
The other idea that I have, I really like the concept of butterfly bat wings. Just making sure that we can knock this out in six hours, too. I feel like I could do something like this in about six hours. I feel it's a lot. It's a lot? Jesse's ideas are always crazy. Now is the time for Bulletproof and Simple. Well, I, that's why I want to see your idea, because, I mean, it might be different than what I'm seeing in my head. I want to do creative tattoos. I, I do, too. But because we're going to be partners in this, and yeah. I know that we're being judged separately, I think we should just dial it back so that we know that we don't put her through a bunch of trauma. Team Sausage and Jesse is you're not feeling it. I can tell you're not feeling it. OK, artists, you have six hours to show texture by giving your canvas wings. And your time begins now. Woohoo! Let's get the stencil on. The crazy part about this challenge is they have to work in pairs on one canvas. So while they're competing against each other, they also have to work together to make their wings cohesive. Right about the same spot. That's pretty good. There's a lot of difficulties with two people tattooing one person at the same time. Don't push or pull her body. We're just going to go downward on her, OK? There's a lot of push and pull and give and take. You have to work together so that you don't screw each other up in the process. We're on the same page. I'm gonna keep them real symmetric. Luckily, I've done a lot of tandem pieces. Maddie and I are gonna take the same wing, flip it. I'm gonna make mine really soft, white, and angelic. Super soft. Yeah, you're going pretty dark, right? Yeah. Maddie can take his, rat it out, and make it look like a fallen angel wing. That's too much. Holy Your spot's just on fire. This spot over here? Yeah. It's a lot of work at once. We probably have the biggest one in the room. Our design that we're doing is very elaborate. It's a lot of work on someone's body in a short amount of time. Three, two thumbs up, it's worse. No matter the amount of pain that she's in, we're gonna coach her through it. There's no way in hell that we're not finishing this tattoo. Yeah, things are a little rocky. Jimmy wipes very, very aggressive. I'm having to hold her down and fight against him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very clean and I'm very precise when I tattoo. That's almost impossible right now. I'm afraid that I might not finish. I really like how this is coming out. I'm gonna be in trouble, man. Three hours to go. I know what I'm capable of, and I didn't want to pick somebody that wasn't as equal, because then I had one side super big and the other side not so big. Our tattoo is huge. This thing is the biggest, baddest tattoo that's ever been done on Ink Master. Pretty much getting a full back piece. My strategy on this tattoo is mow it the f down. Nobody's got the balls to go this big, and I can guarantee that. I'm just trying to get a shade plan so it looks cohesive in the thought process. We're doing dark from the side over. Yours looks good because you got the texture on your side. I'm trying to keep it smooth rolling into yours. Woo! I'm stuck. Me and Clean, we got this thing. This fool's gonna jump off the damn table and start flying away. Why did everybody go so small? There better be some bells and whistles on that. How the hell y'all spend six hours on that itty bitty ass tattoo? Y'all got the kitchen sink in there? <laughs> <laughs> Sausage, that thing is small as hell. Let me pull out the periscope. Is that a tattoo over there that I see? It's a stiff competition. How are you feeling over there? OK. I feel like I'm swimming in quicksand with everybody's boot in the house on my forehead. It sucks. Sausage, can I, can I get a few seconds? Yeah, go ahead. Tattooing with a partner on the same body is like trying to write perfect calligraphy in a car that's driving down a rocky road in the middle of a snowstorm. I mean, it's really causing me to not really get into a rhythm to tattoo. What? I'm just trying to see how you're doing yours. Sausage is stressing me out. I'm trying to figure out texture and don't want to put too much. There's a texture challenge. You don't want to not put too much. Sausage, pull it together. Come on, man. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Oh my god. The feathers look awesome. Oh, dude, those oil drops. Thanks. He looks like a fly. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Texture. That is crazy. <laughs> Clean's tattoo is huge, but it has no texture, tons of wonky lines, and a whole bottle full of white just popped in there. This knucklehead thinks that everything is about bigger. It's not about bigger, it's about better, Clean. We're on the same page. I'm gonna keep them real symmetrical. Luckily, I've done a lot of tandem pieces.